Alright guys, welcome to the Momentum Bashing Lab. In this lab, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a ruler, setting it up on a book like this. We have a long track set up on our table. And we are going to take a cup, like so. We've cut a little square out of it. We're going to set it up at the end of our ruler, like this. We're then going to take a marble, and we are going to drop it down this ramp. It's going to hit the cup. Its momentum is going to be transferred into the cup, and as that happens, that cup is going to get knocked backwards. And we are going to record how far that cup gets shifted. And then we're going to take two marbles, three marbles, and four marbles, and just add more um, mass and see if that causes this cup to shift even further after the collision. So, let's get going. Alright, here we go. Here's trial number one with one marble. All right, we're going to measure this distance and see what we're at. All right, so we're going to measure the front of the cup, but it looks like our cup maybe went about 19 centimeters. We're going to record that on our data table for trial number one with one marble, 19 centimeters. All right, here's trial number two. Here we go. All right, let's see what our distance is. And it looks like our cup went about the same distance as it did before, and we'll say um, about 19 centimeters. All right, here we go, trial number three. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, I would say that it's uh, pretty much the same, say 19 centimeters. So, trial number three, 19 centimeters of long marble. All right, so now we've got two marbles, and this is our first trial with two marbles. Here we go. All right, so we uh, have a marble rolling down the table there, but Let's take a look and see. I would say that this distance is about 31 centimeters. So for trial number one with two marbles, we have 31 centimeters. All right, here's trial number two with two marbles. Here we go. All right, so let's take a look at our distance. And this one, it looks like went a little bit further. Um, we'll say 34 centimeters for this one. So trial number two with two marbles, we have 34 centimeters. All right, here's our third trial with two marbles. Here we go, let's go. All right, so let's take a look at this one. And it looks like we didn't quite go as far on this one, but I would say we have about 30 centimeters for this one. So 30 centimeters for trial number three with two marbles. All right, so now we have three marbles. Here's gonna be trial number one with three marbles. Here we go. All right, let's take a look and see what our distance is at. And it looks like we went further. So now for this one, we have, I would say, 39 centimeters. So for trial number one with three marbles, we have 39 centimeters. All right, here's trial number two with three marbles. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at our distance on this one. Ooh, so I want to leave a little bit even further than the first one. So I'd say for this trial, we have 43 centimeters. So trial number two with three marbles, we have 43 centimeters. All right, here's trial number three with three marbles. Last one, here we go. All right, let's take a look at our distance. Ooh, this one went even further than the first two. So I'd say for trial number three with three marbles, we have 48 centimeters. All right, here we now we have four marbles. Here's our last set of trials. Here's trial number one with four marbles. All right, so our marbles are gonna be rolling off the table here, but let's take a look at our distance. It looks like we went about 42 centimeters. So we're gonna record that down for four marbles. Trial number one, 42 centimeters. All right, here is trial number two with four marbles. Here we go. All right, let's take a look and see how far our cup went on this one. It looks like we have about 45 centimeters for this trial. So trial number two with four marbles, we have 45 centimeters. All right, trial number three, four marbles, here we go. All right, our last trial here. This looks like it went the furthest we've had so far. We have a total of 48 centimeters for Four marbles. Trial number three, 48 centimeters. Hey guys, all right, we are done with the 
lab portion of the mm -hmm. Momentum Bashing Lab, and we're now going to answer some post-lab questions. So first things first, if you haven't done so already, I'd like you to calculate the average distance that your cup moved for all three of your trials. Um, if you're doing this in person in class, then you would do these calculations with your data. If you're watching this video, then I'd like you to find the average distance for the trials that, of course, was in this video and, uh, and get down your numbers. So pause the video, do that now. All right, so my numbers that I got, and uh, we'll see if we can get this to focus properly. There we go. So for trial number one, I had an average of 19 centimeters. For trial number two, I had an average of 31.6 centimeters. For trial number three, I had an average of 43.3 centimeters. And um, for trial number four with four marbles, I had an average of 45 centimeters. Again, this is from the data from this video. So your averages might be different, of course, if you, um, you know, had, you know, doing it in person, obviously. But if you watch this video, those are the numbers you should have. So let's take a look at question number one. It says, describe the relationship between the number of marbles hitting the cup and the distance the cup moves. So answer this question, and then we'll take a look and see what I have. So I would say it was very clear to me that the more marbles that we had hitting the cup, the further the cup seemed to move. Um, hopefully you saw the same thing that I did. But again, there is certainly some human error. So if your numbers didn't show that, maybe there's a reason. It could be that, of course, when the marbles hit your cup, your cup turned and then the marbles came out or they missed the cup or something along those lines. Um, so if you didn't have some good trials and you had some difficulty doing it, that definitely could affect your numbers. All right, crash questions. Number one, what determines if one car has more momentum than another in a two-car collision? So, pause the video, try answering this question. All right, so based on what we saw, we know this whole lab is about momentum. And what we were doing in this lab is we were increasing the amount of momentum that was hitting our cup by increasing the total mass that was hitting our cup. So I would say that what determines if one car has more, more momentum than another in a two-car collision is mass, one thing, and second is velocity, okay? So if a car is bigger than another one, it will have more momentum, most likely, or two, if it is traveling at a much greater velocity, then it will also have more momentum. All right, question number two, it says, explain why an 80,000 kilogram big rig traveling two meters per second has the same momentum as a 4,000 kilogram sport utility or SUV traveling 40 meters per second. All right, so pause the video, try answering this question. All right, so for this one, um, all we have to do is just simply calculate the momentum for both objects. If we take 80,000 kilograms times two meters per second for the big rig, we'll find that it has a total momentum of 160,000 kilograms times meters per second. If we calculate the momentum for the SUV, which is 4,000 kilograms times 40 meters per second, we'll also find that it has a momentum of 160,000 kilograms times meters per second. So both objects have the same amount of momentum because we take their mass times their velocity. We'll see that the momentum is the same. All right, guys, that's it for this lab. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you learned a little bit about momentum and how to calculate it. Um, but again, as always, if you have any questions, make sure you email me or talk to me in class or just reach out and get those questions answered. All right, guys, I'm Mr. B. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.